joy or happiness, success or failure, peace or dismay. The foundations of our life rest on the words we receive. A word of hope and guidance, translated from the Temple of Solomon in Brazil. You are listening to a word of faith with Bishop Macedo. Univer Video is your platform for Christian content, and it gives you access to the church meetings of the Universal Church around the world, and they are in English. Even the meetings at the Temple of Solomon that provide live, simultaneous translations to English. All you have to do is sign up. And this is how: visit www.univervideo.com online, or download the application on your mobile device, and complete the simple registration form. Have your bank card ready, and choose your terms of payment. And before you know it, you'll be up and running. Stay connected to the things of faith during the 21 days fast of Daniel. Friends, may God bless all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I would like today, from now on, to comment with you something that it is extremely important for for you to face your fights and your problems and f- overcome. When the Holy Spirit comes upon ourselves with our free will, our desire, when He comes upon us, what happens inside of us? He guides us. The Holy Spirit starts to guide, to give direction, inspiration. He alerts, he exhorts, he he makes us to be wise, to have a greater vision, an understanding. It's clear what He, God, wants for our life. So when a person receives the Holy Spirit. They take possession of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is here on earth. The kingdom of God here on earth. The kingdom of heaven is in heaven. So first we take possession. We enter the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of God here on earth, we face problems, difficulties, needs. Isn't it? We have to live, we have to eat, we have to dress, we have to sleep, we have to rest, we have to work. All of this, all of this is part of our life here on earth, the kingdom of God. When we receive the Holy Spirit, the spirit of the kingdom of God, then we are in the will of God, which is his kingdom inside of us. Do you remember what Jesus said? Seek first the kingdom of God and his justice, and everything else will be added to you. So when we receive the Holy Spirit, that's when comes the great revelation to you who are watching us now. When we receive the Holy Spirit, we have access to everything that God allows us to have. For example, you have a sickness, an infirmity, an illness, a personal problem. How are you going to solve this problem? Bishop, pray for me. Bishop, so and so, do this prayer for me. No, it's not that. God wants for us to, we should pray one for another, no doubt. The Word of God teach that. But when you receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit guides us to ask what we want, what we need, using the Word of God. We have access to everything that we need. As long as we 
use that little word that Jesus said. It's written. Jesus fought against the devil in the wilderness 40 days without eating anything. 40 days, 40 nights, not eating anything. He was hungry, of course. But in that moment, in his most need, the devil came and said, why don't you turn these stones in bread? So Jesus defended himself. How? Since he went to the wilderness guided by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit guided him so that in the moment of his need, he would use what is written. So Jesus said, it's written, man shall not live by bread alone. Jesus could just say, man shall not live by bread alone. No, he said, it's written. So he defended his need. He defended against that problem that he was facing with what is written. It's written, man shall not live by bread alone. With that word, the devil was weaker and weaker. He saw that Jesus had, let's say, the authority, the power. He had the tool, the weapon that would overcome him. It's written, Satan, man shall not live by bread alone. Then the devil came, for it's written as well, for it's written in Psalm 91, he shall give his angels charge over you, and etc. So throw yourself to see if the angel is going to hold you. And then Jesus said, it's also written, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. And once again, the devil not having what else to say or what else to do, he took Jesus, he, the devil, took Jesus to a place and he showed the glory of that world, the whole world. And he said, this is all mine. I'll give you. And Jesus said, once again, it's written. So Jesus, he defended his holiness, his reputation. He defended his life. He defended his faith only using for its written. In other words, to be more direct, you have a stomach ache. Do you have a stomach ache? So what do you do? You have to say to that pain, it's written. It's written that the Lord Jesus took upon him our pain, our suffering. It's written. And remain in this faith. It's written. Do you know what's going to happen? It will happen what happened to Jesus. When he went through the test, to the trial, the temptations, three times, when he faced Satan himself, he went through the test, he was approved. The angels came and served him with the bread of heaven. <laughs> so, my friends, what is your need? What is your pain? What is your problem? Use for yourself. It's written. It's here. It's written. Face this problem using the same weapon that Jesus used to face Satan. If Jesus faced Satan himself with the word, imagine us. So, it's written in the Bible. It's for you. It's for me. It's for all of us. It's written. Lord, it's written. What is written is according to the will of God. What is written is not against the will of God. See, that's why Jesus said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask whatever you desire and it shall be done for you. Look what nice thing. You can say, it's written, Lord. You promise. And if you demand from God what is written, what is written will be fulfilled in your life. This is called faith with intelligence, not with feelings, not with emotions, but with intelligence. Do that and you will see that your life will change. Now, when the person do not have the Holy Spirit, then 
it's harder. But those who have the Holy Spirit, they have this power to demand what is written. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. KG Helpline Call Center is open 24 hours a day, every day of the week, all year round. If you need help due to a serious problem you may be going through, if you feel that you have nowhere to turn to and desperately need someone to lend a listening ear, then we can help you. It doesn't matter who you are or what you have done, your religion or race. Your call will be answered by someone who genuinely cares about you and have your best interests at heart. We also arrange home visits for the housebounds and hospital visits for anyone in great need of kindly human contact. Whether it is simply information you want or desperately need someone to talk to, we're here for you.